Hi everyone, welcome back to another Back From The Boot Fair and um, back from the boot fair in the back of the car because uh, I thought rather than bring it in my house like I normally do and make a mess I'd um, just grab it out of the boot and show you what I've got. It's a good boot fair this morning. So we've got um, a whole boot full of stuff. Let me go through it now, straight away. Okay, the first thing I got was a whole load of um, box cartridges obviously for some like big laser jet printer. So there's four of these cartridges um, there's a cyan a yellow a black over there and it's obviously come from some sort of auction um, but the four boxes were a tenner um, so I think that's um, more than enough to make some money on I did try and have a quick look up I think it was around about sort of like 20 ish quid each so hopefully that should um, make some good profit Okay, next up I've got four um, vision saucepans. Um, I do like this sort of pickup. It's easy to clean and um, always makes quite good money. I've got the um, two large saucepans there. Um, it's a, there's a lid that doesn't fit any of the pans um, and that lid unfortunately has got a little bit of damage. So I'll probably sell it without the lid. And then there's just two smaller pans down there and that whole lot cost me 13. I was trying to get it for, for a tenner, um, but it wasn't getting there. And then off the same guy, I got four pairs of shoes. Um, these four pairs of shoes cost me £15, which um, normally I think I'm going to be paying about £5 for a pair of shoes. Uh, these pair are Jones Bootmaker. Uh, these, this one is Nickelbees, which I'll have to look up. I've never had before. Um, got a pair of Clarks there. And I think these are churches. It's very difficult to sort of see the label on them, but... Um, this shoe, you know, what made me get them was this shoe had the writing on the edge, um, which is always a sign it's going to be a good shoe. So these these all need a good old clean. And uh, they did have the, um, what are these called? The, are they the trees? The uh, the shapers in as well. Um, so probably worth it just to get those. Um, so yeah, four pairs of shoes for 15 quid. Okay, next up, we've got a box Wii and uh, three games. Uh, just dance, um, a sports party, and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. That was a tenner, which is a really good price. Looks like it's pretty complete in there. I think it actually had two controllers as well, which is really good. So I normally sell these with just one controller, maybe a couple, two or three games. And um, this little bundle here, which is the stand and... Uh, power supply, um, sensor bar, a few other bits of bobs. Um, that was three quid, which is really good. I mean, there was no console, but I'm quite happy to get this because I'm, I'm making up kind of boxes and there's always little bits missing. So I know I've got one without the stand, so I can make a complete set there. And it's got the paperwork as well, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, so three quid for that. This is a um, nice pair of, um, or two pairs of Hunter Wellies. Um, the two pairs cost £15. They wanted £10 each. Um, but this one had uh, the straps broken off, if you can see there. So um, that obviously affects the value a little bit. But I just thought they were such a great colour. This is uh, silver. This is like a purple colour. So 15 for the two pairs. Not too bad at all. Normally the sort of thing that sells around kind of like festival time, but of course I don't know if any festivals are going on. And then I've got this pair of vans, which again are a very funky pair of vans. Practically no wear on them. Um, they were £3. So I thought that was a very good buy, but um, don't, don't really sell a huge amount of shoes. Um, well, you know, trainers. Um, but I think... Uh, be looking around about 20 quid at least for that something i haven't bought for a, for a while is sort of like duvet sets um so i've got a tweet vintage tweenies I, I went through a spate of trying to get these and, and always finding they were damaged or you know paint on or holes but there's a tweenie set there's a bob the builder they were priced up at four quid each and um when I was talking to her, I think she had them on Etsy or some some sort of selling site. So I thought, well, you know, she's going to know the price. And I don't expect to make a lot of money on these. I'm trying to think how much I paid. I think I paid a fiver for the two pairs. So 250 each. 
So we'll see how they, they go. Might be the sort of thing that surprises me. And another to kind of buy, I was like, mm, I'm not too sure whether this is the right thing. There was a guy there who said, well, you know, when I picked this up and after I bought it, he said that he um, he's a toy trader, but just hoping to sort of clear some stuff out. And when I asked him the price, he said, oh, they're all individually priced. And I said, well, that's the £10 price from the shop. And he said, oh, no, that's my price. But there was another, there was a £5 sticker on it. So I kind of thought, oh, I'm getting a bargain. But, you know, am I £5 for this? Who knows? It's not brand new. It, you know, it has kind of had something done to it. So it's one for me to look up. Um, could be a mistake, I think. But, you know, may surprise me. There's no decals in it either, which is, um, you know, not too good. But, yeah, we, we all make mistakes sometimes. and that, that could be a bit of a mistake. Who knows? couple of ball games so a downfall for a pound um i did check all the bits were there and they were um and then this which i thought was quite interesting um it was two pound uh never never sold it i don't think i've actually ever seen it got the euros coming up so that might you know spike some interest in it we'll see got a guitar hero um, with the guitar it's the aerosmith version i do not know whether that commands any more money um there's a little bit of oh that will come off just a little bit of dirt on it but that's i thought it was ripped um so yeah bit of a crusty battery in there but that'll clean up uh that was a fiver that was off um I got this and then I got that box Wii, sort of like the stools were next to each other, which was quite handy because as soon as I sort of got that, I thought, oh, great. I didn't actually check the air, yeah, the disc is in there. So I've sold Wii guitars before. I normally get them boxed, but this was unboxed um, and it takes a bit of thought about packing them. But yeah, I think um, I think we'll be looking about 20 to 30 for that, unless it's a real kind of rare version. Who knows? I got a few more little bits to go through and then um, I got a whole uh, bundle of um, stuff in a box which I've got to go through so I've been picking up quite a bit of puppet company stuff this is puppet company normally you get about sort of like seven quid so I don't pick it up for more more than a quid 50p or a quid I'll pick it up and that was a quid uh, the vintage Furby I was trying to pick up for two they said it is working so that's got it going for it and they put that plastic in you never know whether to believe people or not but assuming that's working i think that'll be around 20 pounds because it is a vintage one um the harry potter again i would never normally pick up a paperback but it was an early one um and it was in very good condition so that was a quid but we'll go on that and i picked up some top trumps the other day and I've picked these ones up, and the only reason I picked these up because I know there's it kind of been a, a, um, a an increase in interest in you know cards and football cards, and I thought with the Euros coming up, and I saw that um, Kieran from Rummage Around had sold one out of the 2012 Olympic set, you know sets that you never think would have anything any worth. Um, and yeah it was the fact that this had Beckham in and kind of very early um, cards for some some classic players so probably worth nothing but worth a punt of 50p um, an Xbox 360 centre bar I, I never picked up one of these actually I thought I'd give it a go as it was boxed it was four quid um, probably might make huge amounts of money on that if any and then more printer ink, but uh, a bit more smaller size. These five are a fiver. Um, so, yeah, they're, they'll definitely go for, you know, more money than a pound each. And then this very light kind of, um, just sort of like a windbreaker jacket, Arsenal, that was, I think it was two or three pounds. I'll have to rack my brains as to how much that was. Right, three more things and then I'm done. I can get out of this boiling hot car. Okay, first up is this little 
Smurf milk jug, I guess you call it. Pay it. It's got payo on the bottom, which is I think the people who make Smurfs. Just a little thing. It was only a pound, so I just thought, you know, you get do get people who collect Smurfs may may like that for maybe a tenner, five to ten, something like that. And then a very nice, not quite the weather for it at the moment, but this is a Fred Perry kind of cardigan. Um, that was two pound. So again, I think that will sell well. I'll probably you know put it on for around about fifteen to twenty or something like that. And lastly, we have a whole box of Lily Lily Pat. I think it's Lily Putt cottages. Lily Putt Lane cottages. I remember Nick got a whole um, bundle of these probably a couple of years ago now. So I think there's about three or four box ones in there. And then a whole load of other ones, which are all in good condition. I'll have to be very careful with them. Um, and the whole lot cost £15. The guy, they they were his mum's. His mum had passed away, so he was just clearing them. And he was quite upfront. He said, yeah, they're probably maybe worth about a fiver each. Maybe, maybe some are more, um, but they might take some research. But like I say, there's probably about a dozen in there. Um, so five or each, um, 15 to 60 plus, um, it's probably not too bad at all. Right, that's that done. I'm, I'm sweating like anything in here, sitting in a car on a boiling hot day. Um, my haul videos are all slightly out of order now because um, I've been going to so many boot fairs. It really has been full on, crazy, crazy, crazy. So I've got to go and get on and list some stuff now but I have got another haul which I will be doing which is a big um, vintage haul ga uh, sort of gaming vintage it's it's my sort of vintage so there's an Atari in there there's um, an Amiga so um, look out for that that'll be coming out in a couple of days uh, as soon as I can do it but for now I hope you enjoyed that I hope you're all getting some good stuff at the boot fairs if you like the video do click the like and share and subscribe and I shall see you soon take care